Shalom. Kahala Yahawa, Bahasim Yahawa Shah, Bahasim Rahakwadas, the double honors to our teachers, the head apostles, and elders of Great Millstone. Peace, love, and salutations to the Hofi elect scattered throughout the four corners of the earth, teaching in true sincerity and diligence for the sake of Yahawa, Bahashim, Yahawa Shah. Lord, when this lesson may be edifying and straight to the point. Hey, be rich in faith, man. Yeah, fuck trying to get rich on this side, trying to fat out your bank account, you know, trying to get all the money. Fuck all that, man. Hey, be rich in faith, man. You see, because faith is the substance that you're going to need for the season that you headed towards, man. The Lord said... When he come back, should he find faith on the earth? Yeah, this whole land, America, is going to be barren of faith, man. Nobody here is going to have faith in the Lord. Everybody's going to be cleaving to money, and the money is going to fail, man. So that's going to lead these people to being in utter chaos, man. Yeah, chaos is going to erupt in every major city in America once that dollar crash, because a lot of niggas got their faith in money, man. You see? But you want to be one of the ones that's holding the true substance. You see, in that true substance, it's the faith in your house by Shem Yahushua, which that's a currency in itself. You see, because the faith is going to sustain you, man. A hey, faith sustained Noah in the flood, man. You see, because he had faith, the Lord gave him wisdom to build an ark, man. And you don't think the Lord is going to do the same thing for this season? Hey, the Lord, he warned you. He told you that, that the land should be barren of faith, man. When he come back, should he then find faith on earth? You see, so you can see the vibration of the planet Earth is going to be in utter chaos where everybody is going to be lacking that, that one element that's going to sustain them. And that's the faith in Yahweh Hashem Yahweh You see? But, hey, we was given a head start. We know what to pray for, man. You see? Real quick. Yeah, this is the book of Hebrews, chapter 11, verse 1. Now, faith is the substance of things hoped for. The evidence of things not seen in which the things that we speak of as the prophets, you know, we telling that a famine coming, that World War Three is coming to America. All hell is about to break loose in this society, you know, and this society, you know, that you, you see it, it's about to take a turn to the left. Yeah, you see it now. It's a flourishing society. You know, it's bearing much fruit. You know, it got a hey, jobs is still flourishing cars and trucks going to and fro. Grocery stores is still on. Banks is still open. Life, as you know, is, is still moving in a motion that you always have seen it to be, man. But it's going to take a It's going to gradually make a sharp turn to the left with utter chaos. A season that you have never looked for here in America. It's going to spiral up, man. You know, shit just going to spring up out the blue. And you're going to be in that shit. And if you ain't got the faith in your by Shema was shot, you're going to be out there. You're going to get took, man. You see? But again, he said, now faith. It's the substance of things hoped for in which you should hope to be kept from this season, man. You see, you should hope that the Lord preserved you in the season that we headed towards. Because you're going to be in the fire, man. You see, we all going to be in the fire. That's, that's why the Lord said that uh, gold is tried in the fire and acceptable men in the furnace of adversity. You got to go through it to get to it, man. And the Lord said, through much tribulation shall we enter into the kingdom of heaven. So you got to go through something, man. Hey, the L.I. Wap just did a lesson this morning. It said no pain, no gain, man. So you got to go through it. But in the process of going through it, you got to hold on to your faith and confidence in your by Shem Yahweh Shah. What else the fuck we got to lose, man? We ain't got shit here in America, man. This place ain't, this ain't our place of rest. This place destroying our people, man, mentally. Here it is, nigga chasing a bag, but you're losing, you know, you losing touch with, the, with with your power, man. You losing touch with your by Shem Yahweh Shah. You niggas, niggas compromising their moral beliefs. Just to get the bag, man. Bitches selling their body, giving themselves up for money. Niggas crossing family members out, killing people for money, man. You see? It, and that's not going to sustain them. You see? Because the only thing that's going to sustain you is having faith in your house by Shema Shah. That's how you activate the Lord to work on your behalf, man. How you think Noah got it? You see, real quick. This Hebrews 11 and 6. He said, but without faith, it is impossible to please him, man. You see, for he that cometh to the most high must believe that he is and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. You got to believe in your house by Shema outside and it take faith to do it, man. And how do you believe in the Lord? By believing in his prophets, man. Yeah, you actually got to believe in the words that the prophets bringing out. Hey, the prophets here, great millstone, which this, hey, this the camp of y'all by Shema was shot. Yeah, the Lord, hey, the Lord gave great millstone 100% truth, contrary to these other camps with it. 
you can find, when you say a little leaven left the whole lump, man. Yeah, these other camps ain't got it, man. You know, and you you can tell through their teachings, how they operate, how they carry themselves, how they maneuver a camp. You know. But the truth was given to the the the, the head apostles and elders here at Great Millstone down the light mind of brothers that believe in the uh in the same doctrine. You see? But Salaki again, he say, but without faith it is impossible to please him. So you see, you gotta have faith in order to activate Yahweh by Shemal Shah. You see, verse 7, he say, by faith, nor being warned of the most high of things not yet, it's like it, of things not seen as yet, move with fear, prepared an art to the saving of his house, by the which he condemned the world and became heir of the righteousness, which is by faith, man. You see, by faith, nor being warned of the most high. Of things not uh, not seen as yet, in which we carrying on that same legacy, in which we was warned of Yahweh by Shemal Shah, other things not seen yet, the famine, all hell breaking loose, World War Three, missiles coming to America, we was warned of these things, and by and wait, we moved with fear, we came out and we condemned the world, we 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 warned you people of the same thing that the Lord warned us of, just like the Noah man, Noah was warned of the Lord, and Noah went out and warned the people. You see, but as you know, you can see with Noah and the people, Noah was given wisdom to build the ark. You see, and that all came through faith. See, faith is a substance, you know, that pretty much preserves you, man. It's a currency that's going to preserve you. Hey, yeah, the Lord said that uh, wisdom and knowledge should be the stability of thy times. You see, and the fear of the Lord, his treasure, the strength of salvation, you know, roughly paraphrasing. But that wisdom, knowledge, and understanding is going to be given to you. By fearing the Lord, you got to first believe that he is, man. You see? If you don't believe in the Lord, the Lord is not going to open that element of faith up to you. You're not going to have faith. You're going to be one of the ones that's out here bearing of faith. You see? Getting your ass handed to by the judgments that set to come to America, man. So you should pray that the Lord increase you in his faith because just like Noah, man. Noah escaped the evils that, that, that fell on his times. You see, so you should look to escape the evils that's to befall this time, man. In your season, in your lifetime, man. You see, and you should pray that the Lord put the spirit on you to endure the process of being increased in faith. Because it'll be a nigga out here praying that the Lord, yeah, Lord, please give me more faith. And the Lord, he grants your request. He puts you in a position where you got to have faith in him just so he can get you out of it. So you can be increased in faith. But a nigga get in the position and nut up, man. Lord, why me, Lord? Why does it always got to hell to me, Lord? Every time, it's always something. Man, fuck all that, man. That's a weak spirit, man. Hey, through much tribulation, should we enter into the kingdom of heaven, man? You got to go through it to get to it, bro. You see? And you should have confidence. Keep your confidence in your by Hashem was shot. You see, real quick, this uh, Hebrews chapter 10 and verse 35, he said, Cast not away, therefore, your confidence. Which hath great recompense of reward, man. You see? Don't cast away your confidence because you're going to get thrown in the fire. Daniel in the lion's den. Daniel got thrown in that fire, but he didn't throw away his confidence, man. Daniel kept the faith. Hey, the three holy children got thrown in the furnace, man. They didn't cast away their confidence in Yahweh by Shema. They stayed in the faith, man. You see, and the Lord gave us men like that to look upon the continuing their legacy, man. You see, to show you with spirit that you got to be with spirit to take on this in, in a season like that, man. You see, have confidence in your how about you now shine. Pray that the Lord keep the confidence on you. Pray that the Lord increase you in faith, man. You see, because, hey, we going we fit to go through it, man. The, hey, the persecution is near. And we always going to uh, Romans 13 and 11, where uh, now is a high time to awake out of that sleep. For now is our salvation nearer than when we believe. If our salvation is nearer than when we believe, how much more for the persecution and the destruction, man? Because that got to come first. So if we see our salvation is nearer, then surely the persecution is near as well. And you got to be able to endure that. You see, real quick, you got to be able to endure that in order to get that reward, man. You know, and that's what we fight for, man. We fight for a reward, man. We ain't just in this damn truth. The Lord ain't, ain't just... Bring us out of this dust, in which that dust represent confusion. Like he tell you, what is that? Uh, Second Samuel, the third chapter, I believe. We say, I would lift thee out of the dust and set you amongst princes. 
The Lord ain't bring us out of the dust for us to occupy good jobs, man. You know, to somehow become a husband to a rebellious ass woman. No, man. The Lord brought you into this truth for, for you to fight for salvation, man. You see, so that you can build your spirit. The Lord saw something in you. Yeah, ain't, did nobody come into this truth? You know, well, some people came into this truth to learn their judgments. But then if you want who got the spirit of endurance on you, that you really see the, 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 the purity of this truth, you really see the beauty of it. The Lord didn't bring you in this for no reason. He saw something in you and he wanted, He said he don't take no pleasure in your death. Where is that? Uh, Ezekiel the 18th chapter. It, it, it ain't no coincidence that you read that you read that scripture, man. You know, but this James 1 and 12, he said, Bless is the man that endured temptation. For when he is tried, he shall receive the crown of life, which the Lord hath promised to them that love him, man. You see? So you're going to have to go through it to get to it. We all going to be tempted. Acceptable man. We said gold. It's so like your gold is tried in the fire. And acceptable man in the furnace of adversity. So you got to go through it, man. And just pray to the Lord. Yeah, how about you now? Keep the spirit on you. Why are you going through it? Because the Lord is not going to put too much on us than we can bear, man. And you got to keep that in your mind, even in the season that we headed towards. You might just be somewhere tied up. But the Lord did that to you because you can bear that, man. Yeah, Daniel, he was able to bear being in that lion's den. He was strong enough to bear that. That's why the Lord put him there, man. The three holy children were strong enough to bear that damn furnace. That's why the Lord put him. He wouldn't have put no bitch ass nigga in there, man. You know, he would have folded up before he got to the furnace, man. But he knew what acceptable men to put in those positions, to make an example out of, so that we would look on there and know which spirit to operate in, man. You know, and you got, hey, the Lord might just put you in the same position and you got to keep that in mind, man. The Lord won't put too much on me. I can bear. You might be on the guillotine for to get your head cut off, but the Lord not going to put too much on you. You can bear. You was able to bear that. That's why the Lord did it, because you kept your faith in the death, man. You know, different, different scenarios going to play out in different uh, brothers' lives, you know, uh, and, and sisters. But you got to know the Lord put you in that position because you can bear that, man. And you're going to have to bear that, man. You see, in order to receive that crown of life, you know, and you're going to have to keep the confidence of Yahweh by Shema Shah all the way to the end, man. Lord willing, he keep the spirit on us to endure it. Lord willing, he keep the spirit on me to endure it, man. You see, because I'm speaking to myself first. I want to endure that, man. You know, I want to look these fuck niggas in the face and don't be fucking scared of this shit, man. You know? And I know all the Akin want the same thing, man. We want the Lord to have us strong in this season, man. You see, strong in faith and belief. Could, hey, this the perfect currency, man. This the perfect lot to be in. You know, the Lord set us up, man. You see, and we just got to finish out. We just got to uh, 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 execute the play, man. You know, the Lord set up the play. We just got to we just gotta make it, man. You know. But hey, man, just something quick through the Spirit, Lord, when it was edifying. You know, as always, giving honor, glory, and praise to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shah by Hashem, Rakodash. Lord, once in this video, Shalom.